There is a new president elected. What does it mean for the real estate market? Sarah and I are gonna break it down next on Tom's Take. going to want to watch this one. So we are back on Tom's Take, the election 2020 edition. Thank God it's over in my view. I'm glad that we have some clarity on this. That was pretty wild. Yep. So the biggest question out there, and Sarah and I talked about this uh, last week as well, what does it mean for the housing market? We got a new president, Biden's in office. What's going to happen next year? And I know we did some research on this. So what do you think about all this, Sarah? Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of people um, you know, predicted uncertainty because of everything that was going on. And what we found, not just in this election, but in every election, is during the actual election. So, you know, like the couple weeks leading up, um, you know, sometimes transactions do slow down a little bit, but they pick right back up again. Um, typically, regardless of whether it's a Republican or a Democrat that gets elected, um, things kind of just swing back, back together, transactions continue. And for people that really needed to move, um, regardless, even in those like couple weeks where sometimes things are a little bit off, um, they're still transacting. And this year has been such a crazy market anyway that that things have been moving forward. Well, and you bring up a really good point because just because you have a new president, right? It doesn't mean all these market conditions are suddenly gonna go away. Rates are still coming in less than 3% on a 30 year fix, less than 3% on a 30 year fix, the lowest in history. Inventory is still really low. We're seeing a one to two month supply in our marketplace and even market is six. And even when Biden takes office, guess what's gonna happen in Washington? Absolutely nothing. They are gridlocked. They don't move fast on things. It takes forever and you don't have, like a, it's not all along party lines with the, with the uh, Senate and the House of Representatives. So I don't see much changing. I see some initiatives getting pushed forward. We're gonna to have to see what happens. And there's a lot of historical data you talked about as well, where what happens after the election. You wanna kind of share that? Sure, so typically the year after an election, so this time next year, year one, um, you see an increase by probably about 5% of increased transactions. Um, so there's, there's a bump up in transactions every year after an election. Yeah, so this is historical data, right? And this happened when Obama was elected. This happened when Trump was elected. This happened when Clinton, Bush the second was elected. We've seen the data. So the point here is there's a new president. I'm glad it's over. I think the whole nation is probably feeling that way. Things are gonna have to change from an economic level for the market to really change. And until rates go up or until inventory jumps up and you have 74% of millennial home buyers scheduled to enter the market next yeah. year, that's, a hu that's like millions of people that weren't even in an ownership position in the first place. Because of that, I don't see the market changing. Yeah. I mean, if anything, it's going to just be increasing. Yep. And yeah. the good news is there's going to be some more people that come back to the market from selling because we're seeing that already and people are looking at the 2021 market. So don't stress. Normal election cycle. See what's going on. Look at your situation. And we're here to help. Catch you next week. You're definitely going to want to watch this one.